Hi, I'm Chaplain William Johnson from the Spiritual Care Department here at Christian Hospital with our Monday morning meditation. As always, uh, we enjoy these moments and times together to be able to share uh, in these messages of inspiration and encouragement. Uh, it is also a great joy uh, to be able to do so as I work alongside uh, dedicated staff here at Christian Hospital and for all of you who are not at Christian but who are able to kind of tap in and enjoy these messages we hope that you're encouraged by them. Many thanks to our administration, our dedicated administration for allowing us this privilege of being able to share these messages with you and uh, thank you so much for all that you do to try to make sure that we are on our way. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes things happen like that. Uh, but I'm really grateful as well to uh, share with you uh, this message today, and it's entitled Trust in God, Trust in God. That is one of my favorite songs. I, uh, I, in my early morning devotions and meditations, I'm often reading scripture and meditating on something uh, that's inspirational. Uh, often, however, uh, every, so, uh, every so often rather, I find myself uh, including some music and one of my favorite gospel groups, uh, the Winans had a song years ago uh, called Trust in God. And the beginning words say, uh, he bottles up every tear understands every fear, so we must put our trust in God. He understands the reasons why at nights we must sit and cry, so we must put our trust in God. And it goes on to say, even when we don't understand, uh, and it seems that our world is falling apart, uh, just look up, tomorrow's sun will let you know your life's not done. Just look around, Love's pouring down, so trust in God. I, I love that that song. I love that gospel message. I love the encouragement that it gives, because at moments like these, many of us find ourselves uh, in a place where trusting is the least thing we could do. It's not that we don't believe in God, because we have a mental assent about God. We are aware of something beyond ourselves that carries us through. We uh, believe uh, in, tenets of, in our tenets of faith or what we've learned that has brought us through. But I've learned that there is a difference between belief and trust. I, I didn't always know that, uh, and I don't know if I actually uh, learned this in Sunday school or church, uh, in church discipleship or any other uh, place like seminary. I think I learned it through life. That belief and trust are different things because belief is a mental ascent, but trust calls for trying. You have to try things. In other words, you have to put what it is that you believe to the test and to see whether or not it comes uh, to pass. I can say for sure, uh, like the Winans, that sometimes uh, you have to cry and sometimes you're afraid and sometimes we're not quite sure about what decisions to make or where the turn in the road will come. And we're not always aware if our friends or our friends or our foes or our foes. But what we discover is, is that by trying God, trusting God, leaning on God uh, completely, we discover that there's some support, uh, there's some learning and some development of a relationship that is stronger because we tried rather than if we did not. I, I was having a conversation uh, with a relative, my sister, and our family has gone through so much loss over the past year, so many challenges even over the past year, like many uh, who have gone through uh, the pandemic, 14 months of all the things that are happening and don't know what's gonna happen in the future and really trying to forget everything that's happened in the past. These moments in our lives bring us to a place where we're called upon to, to trust God a little more. And so in my discussion with her, my conversation with her, uh, my sister who just recently lost her husband just a few days ago, we were just thinking about all that has happened and wondering God where and when the relief will come. But then it hit us. Like in this story uh, from the Gospel of Mark, and I wanna share it with you, uh, that God invites us to try. 
the Gospel of Matthew, I'm sorry, Matthew, the 14th chapter, uh, I correct that, Matthew, the 14th chapter, verse, beginning at verse 22, reads this way. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back in the boat and cross the other si to the other side of the lake while he sent the people home after feeding them and teaching them for a long time. And after sending them home, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from, from the land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on the water. And when the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In their fear, they cried out, it's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. He said, don't be afraid, take courage, I am here. And then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. And so Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, he said. Why did you doubt me? And when they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped, and then the disciples worshipped him. You really are the son of God, they exclaimed. It was an interesting story. This is an interesting story. One of my favorites, in fact. Because Jesus, uh, somehow the story is set up that he sends the disciples to get in the boat and a storm arises. And Jesus is not on the boat, but he comes to them at 3 a.m. after they've been tossed and struggling all night long. And that's how sometimes God shows up. After it seems we've been struggling with what we've been dealing with for a lifetime, it seems. And there he comes at the wee hours of the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, and he shows up walking on the water. And when they see him, they are sure they are doomed. They don't know who he is or what kind of entity this is, but what they are aware of is that things are not good. And I don't know about you, but I've been in places where things have been so rough and so difficult that I don't know who I am. I don't know what's happening around me. And I can certainly say that things don't seem to be good. But when those moments come, God shows up in the middle of those moments and invites us as the disciples saw. He says to them, hey, don't be afraid. It's me. And Peter says, if it's really you, God, uh, I believe it's you, but if it's really you, let me try you. And that's what I'm trying to get across. Trying faith leads to trusting. And trusting in God builds up a history of knowing what God will do in your life, in your family's life in your circumstances. Won't change the fact that all the time that you're on a stormy sea. And it won't necessarily mean that everything changes because the storm didn't change just because Jesus was walking on the water. It was in those moments that the storm and its raging uh, that even then Peter had enough faith to trust God or to try God even in the middle of a stormy, windy, uh, difficult moment. And as God invited him, God invites us to step out of the boat, even as much as we thought we would find security in it, to step out on water and see what miraculous things we can do, even when we don't think we have the ability. So he steps out on the water and he begins to walk with God and walk to God on the water. And something caught his eye. It says that he saw the strong winds blowing. And I've always been fascinated by that. How can you see wind blowing? 
you can see what the wind touches, but you can't really see the wind. But I found that that's the way it is with us. Anxiety rises in us and it makes us feel anxious about things that may not really be threatening our lives. And the moment he sees the wind blowing and the waves moving, he forgets that he's walking on water miraculously and he starts to sink. And in his sinking, he shouts, save me, Lord. And Jesus reaches over, grabs him by his arm and hand, and pulls him safely into the boat and asks him, why did you doubt me? Maybe that's our story today. And I don't know what your circumstance is, but I've had my own where God has had to pull me out of some situations and then ask me, why did you doubt me? And I love the way this story ends that immediately, once they were in the boat again, the wind stopped and they were on their way. And the disciples said, maybe perhaps you really are the son of God. It's only when you try God and God shows up that we realize that God really is God, more than a belief or a story or a fairy tale, but a real, live, loving, caring, wonderful support and help for our lives. Now, whatever it is that you're going through, I want to encourage you today uh, to trust God. You'll discover that God will show up in some of the most miraculous ways if you trust God. Remember, trusting God means trying something different. And when you discover God can be found there, you'll realize like the disciples that God is real. Well, thank you so much for your time and giving us a few moments uh, of, your, of your time. Always a shout out to our dedicated uh, care staff, caregivers uh, all throughout the hospital, no matter what it is that you do, whether you're patient facing or whether you are just uh, in another role of support uh, for this great hospital and community. To all of our patients and families, we love you and we want you to know that you're supported as well. We'll say to all of you that you are loved, you are appreciated, and you are irreplaceable. Thank you so much. Have a great Monday. Have a great week. Uh, I hope <laughs> my phone ringing didn't throw you off. Give us your feedback, please. We would like to hear from you about what it is you think about our messages, what we can do more of. We had some feedback recently about maybe perhaps uh, one little short one, not as long as this uh, each day, some brief inspiration. Uh, if we can accommodate that, we certainly will if the technology holds up for us. But we want you to know we want to try to be a support for you in every way we can. So thank you so much. Have a great one. Have a great week. Uh, and uh, be encouraged. Trust in God this week. Thanks. <laughs>